Alright guys, this video is for uh, my buddy Tom LaRue. Uh, did last year or a year before, he sent me a linear amplifier, which is this one here. It's a VHF RF amplifier that he sent me there, and I never did test it. Um, so I figured tonight was as good a time as any. She is a TPL Communications Incorporated. Um, Model looks like uh, RA three one AC. Anyways, she takes four watts input to give forty five watts output, and serial number is two four seven six. Tonight, we're just going to try out this linear amplifier to see if it actually works or not. Um, I have no idea if it do, and Tom has no idea if it do. So. Tonight we're going to find out. I uh, have my old uh, Yezu uh, FT209RH. I'm um, going to do the actual low power input to the amplifier and see if we can get 45 watts out. This uh, power meter here by Daiwa, it's a uh, 140 to 525 MHz uh, meter, power SWR meter. You can get it forward and reflect it. Right now, with this uh, with this whole system, with the amplifier not powered up, this is the uh, power output of the handheld radio. Okay, this is the handheld. VO1 Mike Delta Sierra, Victor Ocean One Mike Delta Sierra testing, one forty six five hundred. That's uh, two watts. I'll put the radio at low power and uh, should be less than a watt right now on low power. It's something like 10 or well, 50 milliwatts maybe. It's a uh, very low power. So we're going to try the linear amplifier and see if we can increase the power to the antenna. See if this linear amplifier actually works. So hook up my power leads and let's give her a try. Alright Tom, I have the linear amplifier hooked up to my uh, pyramid 12 amp power supply. Well it's a 10 amp or 12 amp surge. Should be enough to get some power out of her. Now this amplifier requires 4 watts to get any power output at all going here. So I'm not sure if the 2 watts from the 209 is actually going to drive this enough to get any power going out of it. But uh, let's give her a try. Right now power is connected to the amplifier. As you can see, there's no power being generated from uh, from the amplifier. So if I turn the amplifier off by disconnecting power from the power supply, we will then see the power output increase to 2 watts from the handheld again. So it leads me to believe either the amplifier is bad, or 2 watts is not enough to drive it, where it says input power 4 watts. So, let's see. See if I got another handheld radio here that's capable of 4 watts. My HTX202 should be able to do it. Stand by. Alright, Tom, I went with my uh, 706. My HTX202, so I forgot there was something on to go with the transmitter on that thing. It does sometimes, it wants to transmit, sometimes it don't. And this is one of the times that I don't. So I'm going to try the uh, try it with the uh, 706 and with the amplifier, the 45 watt. So right now, this is with the power disconnected from the amplifier. Test one two three four five VO one MDS testing Victor Ocean one mic Delta Sierra testing. So that's uh, five, five watts, 
Should be plenty enough to drive her to 45. So we'll put the power on. So now she's uh, connected up to the amplifier. And let's see what happens. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Make the ocean 1, Mike Delta Sierra. VO1 MDS testing 146.500. And as you can see, we're not getting any, we're not getting 45 watts out of this amplifier, and the power meter is at 20 watt scale. So the RF amplifier appears to be a dud. <laughs> She's gonna need, uh, looks like the uh, transistors needs to be replaced in her. Either that or she needs a tune-up. So anyway, here we go. The mystery of the uh, TPL Communication Incorporated 45 watt RF power amplifier. <laughs> she is a dud. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll uh, get more videos up as I can think of something to put up. Anyway guys, take it easy and Tom, thanks for sending the linear amplifier. I'll uh, See what's on the go with this thing. Might be bad transistors or God knows, maybe she just needs a tune-up. Anyways, take her easy guys. All the best. Right at 63. Out.